In lieu of his recent passing, do you have any experiences with or stories about the OG Samoan superstar, Prince Nef Mayava? Why does he never get mentioned as part of the Anawai extended family, a la Snuka and Ming, despite being the patriarch Peter's mentor? Well, because he was 93 years old and he was last over in Hawaii in the, what, early 70s? Did he make it? Did he last that long? Um, probably, I mean, he's a legend there along with King Curtis and, and Johnny Barron and all those guys. But when you th- there's no tape, um, since he was a Hawaiian legend, even through the sixties in a lot of cases, or at least the late sixties, I guess he didn't work in the mainland a lot. So if, if you have to go back to those early wrestling magazines, which a lot of people don't collect anymore. We do. Um, it just, you know, he's one of those guys that it's just, who talks about wild Bill Longson these days and wild Bill Longson was a lot more important than, than, than Neff, my, 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 my Ava. Uh, but he was a, a legend in his part of the world and he was the first Samoan superstar. And that's where Peter, my got his name. They just couldn't spell it. Right. So, um, but I, I don't think that he's overlooked for any reason otherwise than it's just been so long. And and I've you know never met him and never really saw any film footage. Have do you, have you ever seen any tape or film? I just saw Rock Rims, who put out a couple of fantastic books a couple of years ago, the history of Northern California wrestling when it was big time. I think is the name of it. And yes, the Rotten Ron Star biography. He put up on his YouTube channel. I had never seen it before. A one hour documentary from Hawaii about the history of 50th State big time wrestling, and they had. Uh, Lord James Blears, Morocco, Nefa oh. Nava, uh, Curtis IOK, all of them are interviewed in it, and they had some footage. In fact, I had never seen it before. They had footage, I think it was Nick Bockwinkle versus Crazy Luke Graham in the studio from like, it must have been 69, maybe 60, oh. with uh, Ripper Collins at ringside. I'd never seen the Hawaiian studio before. I've never, I never have either. Yeah. So, I mean, I was like, wow, where's this footage from? Is there any more of it? And the fact that there was, wasn't much more in the documentary made me think, no, there isn't much more, but that was the first and only time I've ever seen Hawaiian studio wrestling, not the interview set, the actual ring and the crowd and everything really, really cool, but a very, very limited footage that I'm aware of, but I always hold out hope that someone has something in an attic that some janitor at a television station brought something home. I've seen it. I've seen it happen multiple times. You and I were just talking off air about a similar yep. situation. It happens. So I always hold that hope that someone's sitting on a treasure we, trove. We know a guy that bought a, a rundown house to flip for $12,000 and there was stuff in the attic that was worth more than $12,000. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you never know. 